55,000 miles miles right now per gallon. 18.3. This week I've seen an 18.4, 18.5, right around 18.3. So we're gonna do some little mods to see if it'll help him. First off, we're gonna try a can in filter. It's supposed to be a higher flow air filter. We'll see, but we got a baseline right now of 18.3. Now I take the same trek to work back and forth every day. So it'll be a pretty decent comparison. But right after that, we're gonna try to clean the mass air sensor because I've been told the oil filter sometimes will clog your mass air filter. But it's also something that gets dirty on its own. So we're going to try to do those two things together this week and see if it makes any difference. Okay, what we got under the hood is our air filter it's right here, which I change every other oil change just about. Um, but we're going to put in this new K&N, see if it helps. But Right here is the mass airflow sensor, which goes into the throttle intake. So I'm going to put the oiled Canon air filter in here. And next weekend, I'm going to take this out, clean it, and see how it does. I bought this mass airflow sensor cleaner and throttle body air intake cleaner from Big Box Store. I think it was eight bucks. So we'll see. Promising. Instant horsepower gains in mile per hour in under 20 minutes. But we'll try it out next week and see how it works. But for right now, we're just going to do the air filter. This one's pretty simple. You got your clips underneath on the corners. Actually, it looks pretty damn good. There's hardly any dirt or dust in there. But I know it's been in there probably 20,000 miles. Got this one to replace it. Let's see what it does. Again, the can ends are oiled. So filter media but the pink stuff you see in there is an oil so when you go to replace it you don't actually replace the filter you take it out you wash it or you re-oil it and you put it back in so it costs three times as much I think it was around fifty dollars but if it makes it four oil changes it's gonna save me some money it's already got the old one out this one will slip right in. Not take much. Most of the oil change places are charged at 25, 30 bucks for that. It's usually a 10 to 15 dollar part. So they're making a killing of changing those filters. So save yourself the money, you do it yourself. That's all there is to it. So there's day one of commuting with the new K&N filter. I put it in on Friday, drove a little bit Saturday, pushed it kind of hard, you know, to suck out any of the K&N oil that might be kind of loose on the filter just to kind of get it out of the way. So now first commute to work and back which is about 30 miles. Took it from the house to the gas station, filled up, drove to work, drove back. So no errands, no side jobs, nothing like that. Just a standard commute. So 19.6 versus I think it was 18.3 with the old Fram filter. So we'll keep on 
tracking this throughout the week, see how it does. All right, day two, our mileage is at 19.8. And then the same route to work and back. And then a stop off at a CVS to pick up some stuff. It's added maybe a mile, mile and a half to my track, the whole city. Um, and we're looking at 19.8 for today. So, day two, not too bad. Full disclosure, I do reset the trip meter in the mornings, only because I sit at the bus stop with the kids in the truck until the bus gets there. So I reset it as soon as they get out of the truck and I take off. Otherwise, five to 15 minutes, depending on how late the bus is, is just idle sitting there not doing anything so i do reset it every morning hopefully you can hear me with this one uh thursday afternoon we got back it's raining like hell but average for today we're back to i guess the new normal of 19.6 miles per gallon all right it's been day five i did one errand over lunch got back home 19 miles per gallon. That's five days with this new Canon filter. And I think all but one day I'm above 19. I have to go back and check them all. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with the mileage with this Canon filter. So next step, we'll clean the mass airflow sensor and see if that helps any. Plus I gotta do an oil change. Okay, we've done the week of mileage testing with the new k &N. so we're going to try to clean the mass air flow sensor just to be sure it's clean. If there's any gunk from the k &N, or just because it's got 156,000 miles and it's never been cleaned. Your mass air flow sensor is going to be right aft of your air filter. So your air filter Mass airflow sensor that's going to go into your intake into your engine. Basically, all it does is measures how much air or oxygen is coming through your system and matches the fuel flow to get the best mileage, the best power, best economy, all that kind of stuff. So, it's got to be operation, has got to be clean because if it's dirty, then it's not going to get the right amount. Of oxygen reading and will throw off your gas so how much gas is going into your engine and you'll get some crappy mileage so we're going to try cleaning it off hadn't been done in 156,000 miles so we'll see how bad it is I don't think we'll have a problem with the can in oil because it is an oiled filter from clogging up the mass airflow sensor because there's a charcoal filter there and that filters out any gas coming out of the engine once you turn it off. Kind of keeps the environment cleaner. It's just charcoal in there, but I'm pretty sure that's going to collect any oil that makes it out of that filter. So I don't think I have to worry about it. So let's get this mass airflow sensor off. Clean it up. You've got to do your best to not to lose the screws that come out. So we're going to take the cord off. You got a screw here, a screw on the other side. I use a magnetic screwdriver to hopefully not drop them. But where I'm at right now I can't see that screw. And y'all probably can't either. on there pretty tight. Don't drop it. I'm just going to take this out and have a look at it. 
basically you got these little wires and these holes the air is going to flow through and measure how much oxygen is in the air system this one actually looks really really clean but we'll take it to the back of the truck clean it up come back put it back in out of here CRC mass flow center cleaner throttle body and air intake cleaner I think it was eight bucks at Walmart not a huge expense again I'm not being sponsored by anybody here's your mass air flow sensor again if you see those little wires in there you can see those very good but the air flows across those wires and tells the engine how much fuel to add based on how much air is coming through. So if those are covered in dirt, it may mess up the fuel air ratios, which could cost you gas mileage. Again, this thing looks extremely, extremely clean. I mean, it's shiny as can be. The only dust is kind of on the outside of it. But we'll clean it up, see if we can get any better mileage. So we're just going to spray down this thing really good. It shouldn't take very long to dry. Kind of like that canned air, it's cold. That's evaporating. So we'll let that dry a little bit. So we're just going to get it put back in and run our mileage test again tomorrow. I'm not guessing or expecting a huge change due to the fact that this thing was not very dirty. I've seen some online that look like the rest of this was caked on dirt and I'm sure that did cause some issues I'm getting a good reading please don't drop this I'm working blind over here I can't see the holes in the front of the truck doing it by feel. Switch positions. It didn't help too much either. Kind of a pain. But this thing was dirty. Hopefully, Maybe another half mile, a mile per gallon. My mileage. Sure, save me a lot of money. If it doesn't, I still think that can in is saving me about a mile per gallon, if not more. Which I think is amazing. It's been running those Fram air filters for the last couple of years. It's cost me what, 80,000 miles. One mile per gallon. That's a lot. I have to do the math on the calculator. There she goes. Let's crank her up. Make sure it runs. I'm going to do a drive test tomorrow. Alright. Let's 
let's crank it up. Did not get around to changing the engine oil this weekend. So the maintenance required light is just for the engine oil maintenance period. Seems to be idling fine. Started fine. Other than that maintenance required. How much I can do. Here's my mileage for today. 19.8, so that's the sixth day after the K&N at 19.8. But what I'm going to do this week, again, the kids get on the bus, I wait with them on the bus, stop. Sometimes it's five minutes late, sometimes they're ten minutes late. I can see that mileage drop a couple, one or two miles per gallon just sitting there waiting on the bus. So this week I'm just going to let it run and hopefully We'll get a better reading of how an actual week, normal week is. But I also think what I'm going to do next week is swap that filter back out, put the other one back in, and do a test and see how it is. Clean the mass airflow sensor and after the K&N just to do a comparison. And I'm more cognizant of my driving habits, trying not to do anything stupid fast accelerations, late brakes, things like that. So I'll put that old filter back in and see if it changes anything. So this is going to be a three or four week process to get all this done. But all in the name of Bubba Science. So hopefully it'll work out. We're going to get a bonus trip this morning. I forgot two things walking out the door this morning, which I didn't realize until I got to the office. So after the mass airflow sensor cleaning, trip to the office and back, 20.1 MPG. And we'll do this again this afternoon and see what they average. This is after my second trip to work and back for the day. After the mass airflow sensor cleaning, we're looking at 19.9 MPGs for 75 miles today. That's not too bad. I don't think I saw an increase after cleaning the mass, so mass airflow sensor. But as we saw in the video, it was pretty clean to begin with. So I don't think that's going to make any changes whatsoever. But still, almost 20 miles per gallon with the air filter change. So that's not bad at all. Today is Wednesday, so this is the fourth trip to the office and back this week. Still sitting at 19.7 miles per gallon. I did not reset the trip meter this morning. Sat there at the bus stop for a good eight to 10 minutes, watching the mileage drop down, but it's still as an average 19.7. So two more days, I'll swap out the filter and see how the old one does. Made it home on Thursday. It's 19.4 miles per gallon. Again, this morning I did not reset the trip meter while waiting the bus stop for 10 or 12 minutes today. So it's still better than 18.4. One more day and we'll swap out the filter. It's Friday, so it's the end of the week. Total MPG. 19.2 and I was not resetting the trip meter in the mornings waiting for the bus with the kids So this weekend I definitely have to change the oil I get that done but I also put back the old air filter in just to see how it matches up because the first week when I did all the tests was the first week of school and I was waiting for the kids on the bus stop but the week before that where we took our baseline mileage reading at 18.3 they weren't in school so I wasn't doing that so to get an accurate reading of what that old filter really was doing we'll put it back in and see how it performs Saturday morning just got done doing an oil change didn't feel like filming that but we're gonna put back this old Fram filter and see if our mileage changes any compared to the K&N. 
Again, the filter change is pretty straightforward. Just pop your clips. Take out the can in. Put back our frame. We'll drive it this week, see how the mileage is affected. Day one with the Fram filter back in, but also after an oil change. So I reset the trip meter as soon as the kids got on the bus. So that 19 miles per gallon. Day two with the Fram filter back in, 19 miles per gallon. I did not reset the trip meter this morning so that's today and yesterday combined no resets today's thursday so day four with the replacement fram or the old fram filter back in it i don't remember if i filmed yesterday i was dealing with prepping for the hurricane about to hit florida uh, so day four we're at 18.4 miles per gallon that's with no computer resets so far a week so it looks like we are down about one mile per gallon. Basically where we were when we started before the K&N. But do one more day, get a good average, see how we turn out. Last day with the old filter, 18 miles per gallon average for the whole week. So I'm saying the K&N was a decent buy. Getting me a mile, mile and a half per gallon, better mileage. I'll get all my numbers together, do some cute little graphs or something, some charts, put it all on paper, see how we came out for real. Our first line here is going to be our K&N filter. Our second is our K&N and our mass airflow sensor. And our third line is when we put the Fram filter back in with our baseline of 18.3. So our blue line is our K&N which gave us anywhere from 19.6 to 19.8 miles per gallon with an average of 19.56. Once we changed the mass airflow sensor, it actually did jump up a little bit. I was kind of surprised. So it jumped to 20.1 with the least being 19.2 with an average of 19.66. So we did get a uh, 0.10 increase after we cleaned the mass air flow sensor. So it actually went up just a tad. Statistically not enough to really make a difference, but it did go up. And then we put the Fram back in there, and you can see it went back down. So the best we did was 19. The worst we did was 18. So an average of 18.58. So we ended up with a better average with the mass airflow sensor in the Canon, just barely above the Canon filter by itself. Our yellow baseline here and our frame down here. So overall, we had a 19.66 miles per gallon average with the Canon and the mass flow sensor cleaning versus 18.58 with the Fram and the mass airflow sensor cleaned. So we have a full one mile per gallon difference. I think overall we've showed an improvement with the Canon. Maybe later I'll do a follow up. It will take six months down the road to see, but one mile per gallon, that's a pretty good chunk of change if you add it up. I did the calculations and I've owned this truck for 80,000 miles. Had I put the K&N filter in from day one, 
it would have saved me about 290 gallons of gasoline over the last 80,000 miles. So 290 gallons of gas at $3 a gallon is $870. 290 gallons of gas at $250 a gallon is $725. So had I done this change five years ago when I bought the truck, it would have saved me anywhere from $700 to $900 in gas, depending on the cost of the gas since it fluctuates. So I would say it's a good buy. I'll look into it for my wife's car. Maybe I'll do a comparison on that one. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with the Canon filter. I'd recommend it over the Fram, most definitely. And both are available at Walmart, which is where I bought them. So, do it yourself. Change your filters. Save some money. If I were you, I'd get a Canon. I know there's some haters out there, but... For me, it's saving money. I'm good with that. Thank you. 